Today we're going to cover how to do proper version control in Microsoft Word. The first way is manually managing it yourself, where the second improved way is using software to do it for you. Let's get started. In Microsoft Word, most people manage version control simply by clicking File, then Save As to manually save a new version. Now if you're using this method, using a structured naming convention is going to be key, such as your file name, your version number, and the changes that were made. However, as you can see with my previous versions, things quickly get out of hand and you've likely felt this frustration. So some of the top problems you've likely run into is that it can be hard to find the latest version, especially when naming protocols get out of hand. You can accidentally overwrite someone's work by clicking save, not save as. It can be very difficult to collaborate. If two people open version 5 at the same time, and then both save it as version 6, then you have two copies you manually need to merge. Then lastly, it's near impossible to identify changes if you don't turn on track changes in Word. Plus, when they are on and you accept them, they quickly disappear and you'll have no record of what changed. Now if this all feels a bit daunting, there is a second option to explore, and that is Simul. Simul is a version control and collaboration tool which integrates with Microsoft Word and manages the version control process for you. So I'll run you through how you'd use it. So once you're ready to collaborate, you can upload your Word document straight into Simul. Now you don't need to worry about a version number, Simul will auto-populate that for you. So to add new collaborators, click Add and Edit Members. You can then select from your recent contacts or type in a new email address. What's really helpful is that you can control user permissions. So for example, if you want someone to view but not make changes, you can control that here. Now, when someone needs to make an edit, they would simply click Open in Word. Then when Word opens up, you make your changes. And then when finished, click Save and Exit. And what you'll notice in Simul is that a brand new version has been created with a new version number. All changes will be clearly highlighted and that's regardless of whether you turned tracked changes on or not. What's super cool is that if two people have made changes at the same time, Simul automatically saves each person's changes in a separate branch to show what they changed. Simul then allows you to easily merge the two documents back together with one click. So to conclude, Simul is a fantastic tool which replaces so many of the problems we've all experienced with version control and trying to manage multiple files and changes. It's definitely worth checking it out and we'll leave the link in the description below. Thanks for watching today's video. We hope this has been helpful and you're able to make some great improvements to your version control process.